I think everybody's geared to go. I think we're hungry. I think this time it's going to come down to who wants it. That's all, the, that's all it is. Enough said, you know what I mean? How pleasing was it for you guys to secure that number six seed? Because that's the highest that Flyers have ever finished, you know, with a winning record for the first time as well. Uh, it, just, it just goes to show that the Bristol Flyers are making progress. And, you know, since being my third year here with the Bristol Flyers, um, from where we first started, uh, at least my first year here with the Flyers, um, it was uh, it was signs of growth, and you know, as as time goes on, you know, we are finally starting to, you know, finish high in the table. So, yeah, it's it's great for the program and for the players and for the Bristol Flyers and Bristol Sport itself. Of course, you were part of that playoff team last season that played Newcastle Eagles once again, and you were down by 33 points in the first half before that amazing comeback to bring it down at just three. So it, again, it can just show that anything can happen in the BBL playoffs. Yeah, it's basketball for you, and, and, that, and that's also sports too. Like, you know, you just never know when a team may make a run and make a comeback and find a way to make the game be closer than what it looked like in the beginning. So, but again, that's why you play the game. That's why you love it. Of course, you've recently returned from tournament play out in Australia with the Commonwealth Games. How are you looking to kind of bring that experience uh, into the BBL playoffs now with the Bristol Flyers? Um, it's just a matter of just showing up in the beginning. I think um, if guys show up in the beginning, which I'm sure most of us are, like I said, geared up and ready to go, then I think we'll uh, during the game we won't we won't find ourselves scratching our heads like how do we get how do we get into this position or how do we put ourselves in the position. So. Um, yeah, I think it's just showing up from the beginning. You guys have won six games in a row now here in front of this home crowd. How important is it to, to really have this home crowd behind you on Sunday afternoon? Oh, it's going to be fantastic. I can't wait, man. I can't wait to, because, uh, you know, playing in front of the cloud, crowd, and I just lost the ball, by the way, um, <laughs> but playing in front of the home cloud, crowd with the, the intense energy and the passion that they have, it makes, it makes it, us as players, we feed off of that. So. When we are in the game, and like I was saying, you know, a couple, couple interviews before this, but when, when you have a passionate crowd that's behind the team, like, and we find ourselves finding momentum within the game, then it's like we just have this kind of like energy about ourselves, and it's just like you can't, you can't change that. You can't, you can't take nothing away from it. Like we feel unstoppable.